Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, we're back out in Saskatchewan on a great day field hunting for geese and ducks. The bird numbers are great in the morning while we're hunting geese, and they're phenomenal in the afternoon as we're hunting ducks. Stay tuned for a great hunt coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures. Looking like he's got one more good run. Sips a little shaky, but his heart is still true. Oh, how that dog loves hunting with me and you. Sporting dog adventures run, boy, run. Everything you need is here under the sun. It's goose hunting day. It's a few days into our Canada waterfall hunt. We've got a little bit of a drive for our morning setup, so we have to get up early. We also have our work cut out as we have a pea field with low cover and we have to blend in our blinds. So far, our Canada trip has yielded some great duck action. We have yet to try goose hunting, and now we have a field set up, and we're looking for a hunt to remember. All right, it's 4 a.m. We got a uh, good goose field. I guess there's ducks here too, but we were told we're not to shoot the ducks because we got a good duck shoot in the afternoon. But uh, man, it's early. I'm tired. We gotta get her spread out, get tucked in, get our blinds all brushed in, and hopefully we have a good shoot this morning. I hope you guys enjoy it. We were hunting with Sean Wozniak of Mech Shooting Sports and good friend Brian Johnson. We had Pickett along for picking up our birds. The weather was hot with light and variable winds. We looked at the weather in the morning and tried to set up properly with what the predicted wind was. As the sun rose, so did the birds. We had ducks, snow geese, and Canada geese working in the nearby fields. We just needed some to cooperate and visit our spread. They're set up. If you want to shoot them, we got to spin around. Ready? Right there, right there, right there. <laughs> the dog's like playing center field. Boy, I whiff on those. Here, come on, bud. The first group of birds came in and they were behind us. We had light and variable winds that were not cooperating. So what we did was we took what was predominantly the wind that we had at the time, we changed our decoys around, changed our blinds, and tried to tilt the field in our favor. Nice shot. I didn't get my gun up, I had confidence. Fetch it up. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, the geese are being less than cooperative, so we look to take the advantage. Also, we have Brad Arrington from Mossy Pond who brings us a tip on running pattern blinds with your dog. The action heats up after the break, coming up next on Sporting Dog Adventures. Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by Heavy Shot, Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism, Waterfall Wading Systems, Big Dog Mowers, Mech Shooting Sports, The Real Decoy and Foldem Gear, My Lime Test, Liberty Safe, Boucher Automotive, Conquest Sense, Ahern Mechanical and Fire Protection Contractor, Hadel's Game Calls, American Landmaster, Bradley Smoker, Camel Systems, Argo, and Four Rivers Layout Boats.
Whether you're looking for a champion for the couch or the field, everyone deserves a Soggy Dog. For over 60 years, Mech Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech Clay Target Machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency, all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. We wake early, set our decoys, then sit in single-digit temperatures all day. It's why Waterfall Waiting Systems is my waiter of choice. The system is designed to keep you warm in the coldest of weather, while also allowing for comfort and free movement. Other great features include the ammo holder, lined hand warmer, and boots with cinch-down buckles. Add in top-notch customer service, and it's clear why Waterfall Waiting Systems stands alone in the waiter market. B&W trailer hitches, adjustable, multiple ball sizes, completely stows away, and is 100% American made because the best adventures begin with towing. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey, welcome to this week's training tip. This week, we're with Brad Arrington of Mossy Pond Retrievers. Brad, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Brad's going to teach us a concept called pattern blinds. What we do with pattern blinds is we teach the dog where the pile is. We'll take a white bumper and throw it to a, to a pile, and then we'll back up and keep running that pile and teaching that pattern. And it, it really builds a lot of confidence, whether you've got a young dog coming up learning how to run a blind, or an older dog that you just want to build some confidence and get the dog back in shape and condition him for the season. And these dogs love to work. It's good exercise for them. It's good confidence building for you as the handler to get out there and work with your dog. And now we're gonna go out to the field and Brad's gonna show us. So what we're gonna do here, go about halfway on each pattern blind. I'm gonna throw one to each leg halfway and then I'm gonna back up to this pivot point. This is where we'll run all three of them and then run him from here teach and build your pattern blind. This could take a week with an inexperienced dog. With a more advanced dog, I should be able to do it in two afternoons. And then we have our pattern blind field built from right here in this spot. And we can step out here, place our bumpers at our three piles, and go out and have fun and run him on 10 or 12 blinds every evening. All right, we're going to go out and teach the second leg. This is going to add a little cover. Bye. He's actually going to punch in the cattails and the corn brush down there. Good. Okay, now we're back at our pivot point. Back. Now we're gonna run the full distance on our second leg through the cover. Good man. All right, now we're gonna go out with Ruger and teach the third and final leg. Now the third one's a little bit harder. He cuts two pieces of cover and a really big piece of cover, and he has to hold this side heel, so he's got three cover changes and a side heel. We're going to go up and teach this from halfway and then come back just like we did on our other two legs. And then at that point, we have the whole pattern blind field built. The reason the pattern blind field is so important is where you and your dog can work as a team on lining up. This is a very good drill for that, plus he gets to run his pattern blinds. All right. Brad, thanks for showing us pattern blinds. Thanks for giving us a great tip that we can do with young dog and old. Thank you for having me out. That's this week's training tip, now back to the hunt. So it called for a northeast wind this morning. We got all set up, and man, there was no wind at all. The birds were coming in from every different direction. We moved our blinds several times to try to adjust, and it seemed like whenever we moved them, the birds would come in from somewhere else. We 
going after the sailor. I got the job of flagging, and in my opinion, flagging is sometimes more important than calling. You gotta make sure that the birds see that flagging. So far, Pickett was doing great. He was laying next to the blind, he was staying still, and the birds never saw him. Let's take a break from the action and learn another puppy fact brought to you by Soggy Acres Retrievers. Coat color in labs is determined by two genes from the parents. And like hair color in humans, color has no bearing on temperament or personality. Sorry, blondes don't have more fun. If you're curious about the future temperament of your puppy, the best thing to do is meet the parents. Hey, this was a great hunt. We got 13 geese, Pickett did a great job. We're gonna call it, it's not even that late, but man, it is hot. The weather up here has been hot and dry. A lot of the sloughs are even empty. We're gonna call it and get set up and scout for some ducks for this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoy this part of the show. Stay tuned for more High Flying Adventures. The bounty of the harvest is one reason we hunt. High Mountain Seasonings offers everything we need to make the most out of our meat, wild or domestic. To find High Mountain Seasonings in your area, go to himtnjerky.com. Soggy Acre Signature Lodge is open for business. Our lodge is located in central Wisconsin with several hundred acres of prime habitat. Book a waterfall and upland hunt with Jeff Fuller and the dogs of Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hunts at the lodge will be filmed and our guests will be part of the TV show, Sporting Dog Adventures. If you're looking for a relaxing and unique opportunity, book a hunt with us today. The dogs and I would love to share the field with you. For over 60 years, Mech Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech clay target machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency, all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. Here at Soggy Acres, we're long on work, but short on time. When it comes to my lawn, I want to spend more time enjoying it and less time mowing it. That's why I turn to Big Dog. From its handcrafted seat down to its fabricated deck, my Big Dog is quality built right here in the USA. With an industry leading warranty and simple maintenance, this dog was bred to work. Make Big Dog part of your family. Big Dog Mower Company, always loyal, always ready. Quiet Cat Electric Bikes. Sign up for the sweepstakes giveaway at quietcat.com. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Brad Heidel with International Hunter Education Association. And we're here with Callahan today, who just recently turned 12 and he is now gonna start taking his hunter education course so he can start hunting with his dad. Um, we also have Mitch here from huntered.com who's gonna help him get started with his online course. Brad, really appreciate the opportunity to be here and we're excited that you're taking the course. Uh, really what we aim to do is give you an online experience that way you can know the fundamentals going into your field day and ultimately become a safe and responsible hunter. So while it's beautiful outside, I say we go into the house and get signed up for the course. All right, cool, let's right. go. Callahan has hunted for a while now. He's always been with an adult and mentored during his hunts. It was time for him now to hit the field alone. So with our busy schedule, we decided to do an online hunter ed course. As you can tell, we have some pretty cool illustrations in there to kind mm -hmm. of teach you the various parts of firearms and how to carry them. Uh, we've got a lot of videos in the course that we would kind of keep it fun for you. We have all kinds of animations in here, so you'll get to pick 
different scenarios, whether you should shoot or don't shoot. We're going to teach you all about that. So we're going to go ahead and get you signed up so you can just jump right into the course. Uh, so definitely watch the videos, you know, play around with the animations and learn everything you need to know. And once you pass those quizzes in the final exam, you'll print out your, it's called a course completion voucher, and you'll take that to your field day and hand it to your instructor. Cal successfully completed the online course. He learned a lot and had a great experience during it. This was a wonderful opportunity for us and our family with our busy schedule. That's it for this week's Kids Corner. Now back to the hunt. We're out scouting. It's 82 degrees, which is darn hot. We're looking for a spot to go this afternoon. More than likely, it's going to be the last hour that the birds are up and moving because it's just so darn hot. It is amazing how dry everything is. There are ponds that are just completely void of water. So they've, they've pretty much been going through a drought since last fall, and it's really, really affected the amount of water in the ponds, which has also affected the bird numbers. We're doing well, but there are definitely less birds just because there's less places for them to roost. Where there's water, the ducks were plentiful. We had finally settled on a cut weed field with multiple ponds. We hit the field with Sean, Brian, and our cameraman, James. We had Ruger in tow to fetch our birds. We had a lot of confidence in this spot. It was gonna be a great hunt. Sean was out here with Brian yesterday scouting and they're like, we've got the mother load. So we just kicked probably about four or 500 birds off the pond behind us. And there's like three or four ponds in the area. We just had a weather change as well. It was dead calm, 82 degrees. Now it's about 72 degrees and we got about a 20 mile an hour wind. All these gotta go. Wanna take them? Or are they out too far? Take them. Here. Ready? Take them. So early on, Brian Johnson was watching the birds land in the pond behind us. They had an established flyaway. He decided to move. Kill him. Nice. Good job, bud. That boy here. Well, we have another one down over here. Here, hold. So Sean, I'm out trying to find birds, doing my job. And then I watch birds come in, and I watch you kill two with one shot, and then two more. You need to go look for some more birds. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish up, and then I'll switch with you. All right. So I got to watch Sean shoot two birds with one shot. Now it was my turn. I shot two birds, and then got another. Killed all three with two shots. <laughs> that was awesome. This hunt was working out wonderful. We were shooting well, and Ruger was performing at a high level fetching all the birds. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, more ducks hit the ground on our Saskatchewan wheat field hunt. Don't change the channel, we've got some great waterfall action coming up after the break on Sporting Dog Adventures. If you're looking for a puppy, training or want to use one of our stud dogs, contact us at SoggyAcres.com. I've been training dogs since 1998. I love what I do, and I love sharing the incredible results with my clients. Soggy Acres has 23 dog-friendly acres, including three ponds, varying cover, plus kennels with both heat and air. Our property and proven training methods prepare the dog and handler as they head for the field. We also offer stud service for your own litters with the dogs you see right here on Sporting Dog Adventures TV. Raise your expectations. Contact Soggy Acres Retrievers. 
For over 60 years, Mech Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech clay target machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency, all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. When Rommel was approached to accept the role of spokes dog for big dog mowers, he knew it was imperative to do his research. Rommel went straight to the source and personally toured the plant in Kansas. He met the people on the assembly line. He saw the importance of the American quality and pride put into these mowers. Rommel is proud to announce Big Dog as the mower for your family or commercial needs. This message is approved by Rommel, a canine smarter than your average political candidate. Antler King Seeds and Attraction, growing bigger bucks and healthier deer for over 30 years. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Heavy Shot has a new product for the waterfowl hunter. We spent some time with Michael Naris of Heavy Shot up at our lodge. He explained to us the benefit of Heavy X. Michael Naris from Heavy Shot here, and today we're gonna to be shooting our new Heavy X versus our competitor's product and we'll be starting off at 30 yards a day to see how well they pattern. Shoot our competition in number two, three inch loads from 30 yards. Now we're gonna shoot Heavy X, three inch number twos at 30 yards. Look at this pattern. At 30 yards, we have more pellets on target with Heavy X. When you shoot Heavy X, you could shoot two sizes up from steel. So that means if you're shooting number twos in steel, you can shoot number four in Heavy X and get more pellets on target. 20% more at that. With using our mid-range choke tubes out to 30 yards, Heavy X obviously is a duck kill and load. It's available in BB's twos and fours, two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half inch. Check out our website, heavyshot.com, for a retailer near you. Kill him. Oh, I missed. So far, the hunt was going well. We had a weather change that created some wind, as well as some events in the United States that put a haze in the air that got the ducks up and feeding earlier. We had broken into two groups for this hunt, so at times we had birds working perfectly and then they'd flare when Brian Johnson would shoot. With that said, there was more than enough birds to go around. Ducks right here, right here, left. I think that I think we were full, dude. So Sean and I were both limited out. Brian decided now that maybe he should sit with us. And I went behind camera so our cameraman James Fought could shoot. Are you kidding me? So, James was really good at getting kills on camera. With the gun, yeah, he struggled sometimes. Right here, right here. Kill him. I hit it the first time. Go. So 
toward the end, they were maxed out on pintails. Brian needed a couple birds, and we had to sit and watch as these pintails kept working right over the decoys. What a great hunt. What do you think of Saskatchewan? Phenomenal. I mean, look at the pile of ducks here. Yeah, we shot four limits of ducks. We got 32 birds. A uh, mix of, we got gadwall, mallards, pintail. That's, I think that's it for this shoot. Man, what a, what a great hunt. Weird day because it's actually, it seems hazy, but it's actually smoke from wildfires in, in Montana. Yes. So our thoughts are with the people in Montana. It, it actually made our hunt more low light and darker than it should have been. It started earlier. But what a great hunt. I, I can't explain enough how much we appreciate Brian Johnson having us up here. Ruger appreciates it. It's his first duck hunt here with us uh, on a field. And uh, I guess we got to clean up and go have dinner. Let's go have dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Stay tuned for more High Flying Adventures. Next week on Sporting Dog Adventures, we follow my boys on a deer hunt at Sagiaker Signature Lodge. During our deer hunt, there's too many ducks around not to hit the field on a duck hunt. Watch some great deer and duck action coming up next week on Sporting Dog Adventures. Remember to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This year, our social media contest is only on YouTube. You have to be a subscriber to win. If you're a subscriber, you can get some great prizes from our sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by Hadel's Game Calls. Ordinarily, I don't wear stocking caps in September, but I cracked my head on the decoy trailer this morning. I have a three inch laceration on the top of my head, and this was the thing that kept the gauze on the best. Eat a bug. Save the environment. Yeah, I'm just good. <clears throat>